a long shot idea that started on a lab drawing board, is nudging scientists ever closer to tissue engineered personalized medicine for people with intestinal disorders. It's all because researchers at Cincinnati Children's, for the first time, can grow complex functioning human intestinal tissues with nerves, all in a petri dish. We've been able to engineer uh, a new level of complexity into these intestinal tissues using an approach that really mimics the normal process of how organs form in the developing embryo. The nervous system of the gut, which is incredibly complex, hundreds of millions of neurons control some of the key functions of your intestinal tract, namely moving food from one end to the other, being able to use a developmental biology approach to tissue engineer this functionality is very exciting. One day, this technology could allow scientists to grow a section of healthy intestine to transplant into a patient. Until then, scientists are using the tissue to further what they know about the best way to treat intestinal diseases. We expose ourselves to the world mostly by what we put into our mouth. Many of the diseases we commonly know today occur by interactions that happen within our luminal system of our gut. Allergies, asthma, all those things likely initially contributed by what was put into someone's mouth. In the short term, these lab-grown samples of human tissue with functioning nerves can be used as a screening tool to test new drugs before drugs go on to patient trials. So I'm a pediatric surgeon and my focus is predominantly on babies that have congenital problems, problems they were born with with their intestine, and how the remaining bowel functions and optimizing that function. And that drives me, that's, that's my questions, that's the tool I'm looking to use this methodology for. We've studied a specific type of disease, Hirschsprung's disease, using these organoid systems. And in that case, we can identify what the, the sort of underlying causes of particular forms of Hirschsprungs and really try to understand basically patient-specific diseases that we can now study in the Petri dish. For families who have a child suffering with an intestinal disorder, the possibility of better treatment is inspiring. It's why some families allow their own children's tissue samples to be used for research. Every possible donation, there could be cures that are found from that, but they have to have something to test. I think it's extremely important. You know, my family is definitely involved, and, and I would encourage other families to get involved too.